It's known as the Transparency Register, but the annual release of data showing who funds Australia's political parties raises more questions than it answers. The data from the Australian Electoral Commission, released this week, shows one quarter of all donations in the 2021 financial year came from just 10 donors. Topping the list are Pratt Holdings, owned by paper and packaging billionaire Anthony Pratt, and lobby group the Australian Hotels Association. Three of Australia's 10 biggest donors firmly backed one side of politics. Pratt Holdings gave almost $1.3 million to the Liberal Party and just $10,000 to the ALP, while Meriton Properties, owned by billionaire developer Harry Trigoboff, gave exclusively to the Liberals. The Pharmacy Guild of Australia gave twice as much to the Coalition as to Labor, while other top donors split their donations more or less down the middle. Microparties scored big this year. Two investment companies donated a million dollars to right-leaning lobby group Advance Australia. It's the biggest donation on record for the group, started in 2018. William Nitschke, the largest individual donor for a second year running, donated 300,000 to the Great Australian Party. The party was founded in 2017 by former One Nation Senator Rod Cullerton. Political parties declared nearly $176 million in income, but loopholes in the law mean some $68 million, nearly 40%, is so-called dark money. It's a colourful expression, but what it simply means is, on the one hand, you have the political parties telling us how much they've received in donations, and you have the electoral donation system and recording, and there's a gap between the two. And the gap is quite large. So where does that money come from? We don't know. And that's why we call it dark money. Analysis from the Centre for Public Integrity shows that in the two decades to 2020, the coalition have been the least transparent of the major parties. Dark money makes up 39% of coalition income compared to 28% for Labor. All parties, but particularly the major parties, uh, are guilty of being wedded to these large amounts of money and wedded to major uh, campaign spending. For improvement to occur, it has to be bipartisan. It has to come from both parties if we're going to improve uh, our democracy. What makes this lack of transparency legal is that political parties do not need to disclose the source of donations below the threshold of $14,300, and multiple contributions under that limit aren't picked up. On top of that, contributions such as tickets to a political fundraiser are not strictly defined as a donation, so don't need to be disclosed either. These large donations not only carry access, but they carry influence, so that in, in time, they come to demand that government policies and opposition policies reflect their interests. What we have to do is we have to reform the laws, we have to put a cap on campaign spending, we have to put a cap on donations, we have to have real-time disclosure, and we have to, if it's necessary, increase public funding. Essentially, we have to take the money, the big money, out of the electoral system. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.